Let's see how we can diagnose the EVAP purge control solenoid valve. So first of all, check the connector, make sure it's seated properly and the fuel line is not loose as well. Remove the valve. Let's see how we can test the valve itself. For testing a valve with multimeter, select resistance. Check the resistance across these two pins. So in this case, I'm getting 32, which is okay. Just make sure the resistance value is exactly what your workshop manual says. We can also actuate the valve. I provide the powering ground on the valve. And when I activate it, I want to make sure that if I blow the air into this port, it can go through. If I activate the valve and air doesn't go through, it means the mechanical part of the solenoid is already faulty. Okay, on, off. So you see air is not going through, but as soon as I turn it on, air can go through. It means the solenoid valve is working properly.